Alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalam ala rasulillah mabad. I was asked this question, the question that you can see in front of you has been answered by one of the imams, Ahl Sunnah, one of the contemporary scholars of our time, Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, rahimahullah. And hopefully if you go through this, it might even be an Arabic lesson. Aina where yakun nadar al-musalli fi salat Yakun is like to be. Where should the gaze of the musalli be in salat? Al-Jawab, As-Sunnah an yanzur fi mawdi' sujoodihi, hala qiyamih. The Sunnah is for a person to look at the place of his sujood whilst he is standing. Now this is the view of the majority of the ulama. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa when he used to pray, his eyes used to be fixated at the place of sujood. Ma khalafa basaruhu mawdi' sujoodi hatta kharaja minha. This hadith which is made sahih by Albani. And it's been reported by Ibn Hibban al-Hakim. Now the Messenger of Allah used to look at the place of his sujood until he finished with his salat. Now this is something important because a lot of people they pray and in ruku they might look between their toes, in sujood they might look somewhere else. The sunnah is for a person to look at the place of his sujood throughout the entire salat while he is standing in ruku and in sujood. And this is the opinion of the majority of ulama, Abu Hanifa, uh, Shafi and Ahmed. And this is the view of many of the Salaf, Abu Qilaba, Ibrahim al nakhai He asked uh, Muslim ibn Yasar, Abu Qilaba asked Muslim ibn Yasar, Ibrahim al nakhai Ibn Sirin, many from the ulama, the Salaf have said it has to be the place of Jude. To the extent that Imam al Hasan al-Basri gave the tafsir of the ayah, Aqadaf uh, al-Mu'minun, al-ladheen hum fi salatihim khashi'un, there's believers have been successful, those who have khushu in their salat. Hassan Basri said those people who have khushun is not meaning those people who look at the place of the sujood. Meaning if a person is praying, where is he looking? He should be looking at the place of sujood. And this is how we know that the person has khushua. The Maliki have said, yes, this is all well and good. But we have a narration on the authority of Abdullah bin Zubair. And this has been reported by Abu Dawood and Nisa'i and it's been made sahih by more than one of them, including Man no, and Nawi and Albani. Now when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi tashahud when he used to sit in tashahud, wada kafir yusra ala fakhir yusra, meaning he used to put his right hand on his right thigh and his left hand on his left thigh. Wa ashar bi sababa, he used to point with his index finger. La yujawiz basaruhu isharata. His eyesight didn't go past his finger, his index finger. So the Malikiyah have said, look, when you are standing, when you are in when you are in sujood, you should be looking at the place of sujda. As for tashahud, he should be looking at his finger. And this is what our Sheikh is saying here. Whilst he is standing, he should be looking at his place of sujood. Even in the place of ruku, he should be looking at his sujood, not between his toes or anywhere else. As for when he is sitting, he should be looking at his finger. Al-Ishara, كما جاء في السنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. He should be looking in the place of sujood or in between the sujudatain. The person should be looking at the place of Ishara, meaning his index finger. And this is what has come in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu And this is like we have said, what is closer to the sunnah, according to the Maliki opinion. For us, I think this seems to be the most strong opinion. Uh, here we are talking about something which is recommended in the salat. And this is a benefit that I got from Sheikh Abdul Aziz Sadhan, one of our scholars, one of the students of Sheikh Ibn Baz. And this is their humble opinion as well, I believe, that they have said it's flexible. Now here we are talking about, remember we've just had a clip similar to this. We are not talking about a pillar, we are not talking about the wajibat, we are talking about the sunan. Meaning if a person was to look at the place of sujood throughout the entire salah, has his salah become invalidated? Has he done something wrong? The answer is no. Therefore... Sheikh Aziz Zadan has said to me, he said, if a person looks at the place of sujood, or he looks at his index finger, all of this is okay, it's flexible. Here we are talking about what is better. What is better once he is standing. In Ruku and in sujood, he should be looking at places of sujood. As for the tashahud, then he should look at his finger. This is a principle which is known in the Sharia, which is known as Haml al-Mutlaq al muqayyid meaning we have unrestricted evidence to say the Messenger of Allah used to look at his place of sujood. As for what is restricted to a particular hal, and a position in the salah, which is the tashahud, he used to look at his finger. And for me, this seems to be the stronger opinion. But like we have said, the issue is an issue of flexibility. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he places the qurra ta'ayunina fi salat for us and for our progeny.